So why the heck did I move to Costa Rica? What am I doing living here? Let me tell ya. Um, I have not sat down and like talked to the camera in a really long time, so bear with me, but I realized that I haven't really told the story and so many people have been like, give me a story time. What are you doing? Um, I realized I just kind of abruptly moved, at least that's what it seemed like, I abruptly moved. So I'm here today to tell the story, or at least try. I've actually tried to tell the story like 20 times and I just blah, 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 and it makes no sense. So we're gonna try to be Put together today and tell this cohesively. I am getting so nervous. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I can't tell this. So I posted a poll of questions on my Instagram stories. So I'm going to go through those. So the most common question was just, what are you doing in Costa Rica? Tell us about the move. Like what's going on? So I'm going to go back to the beginning of all of this because it is kind of like a long story. The story has multiple pieces to it. So I'm going to go back to when I moved to San Diego. I moved to San Diego almost a year ago now. I moved because I just wanted a fresh start. I'd always wanted to move to California one day. I was just in the mindset where I'm gonna try something new, have an open mind. When I moved to San Diego, I immediately met my best friends. I had the most amazing time. I had some great opportunities. I was unsure if I was gonna be there for a month, a year. I always said to my mom, maybe I'll be here for a year. Maybe I'll be there for five. Maybe I'll move abroad. I got my lease for one month and then quickly decided I wanted to stay longer. So I just had an attitude that was very open to possibilities of anything. I think that that is also a main reason why all of this fell into place for me, because I always, always wanted to live abroad again, have the opportunity to travel as much as possible in my 20s, move around. That was part of the reason I moved to San Diego. About two weeks into moving, I met Tucker and we really hit it off. Love him to death. I'm so awkward. He had actually just moved there a little more than a month before me for his job. And he was there for a rotational program. So he was there for a year. His third and final rotation was going to be abroad somewhere. So we always kind of knew in the back of our minds that after a year, he was going to be going abroad somewhere. And pretty much from the get-go, he like insinuated that he would want me to come with him. So I had that in the back of my head, but I also had just gotten to San Diego and wanted to be there so bad. So I had it in the back of my mind, but I was trying to be really present in San Diego and focus on the life I was building there. Once the year mark started to approach, he found out it was Costa Rica. I got more serious about the idea of me going with him. The timing could not have been more perfect because my lease was coming up around the same time he was going to be moving and the kicker was his company is paying for housing a car living rent free basically for a year that was a huge huge selling point because we aren't paying rent we have the opportunity to spend that money on traveling which is incredible i was working really hard in san diego to build my travel hospitality social media marketing everything i was doing was pretty much online i was working with some local businesses helping them with their marketing and social media i started to get into hotels and Airbnbs and all that. So I built my portfolio in that way. Once the opportunity to go abroad came up, that was like, holy moly, I can continue to build my travel portfolio and actually live the dream I've always said I wanted to live, which is travel and make content and work with travel companies. This is where I'm, uh, I don't know. Um, how to tell the story. Tucker was coming here in July. My lease was up at the beginning of September. I decided months ago, but I didn't really talk about it on social media. So it seemed very abrupt when it happened. We decided we were gonna move to Costa Rica together for the year and travel around. I haven't even been here for two weeks. I mean, it already feels so good about the possibilities and people I can work with here. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know if I did a good job. I'm really excited about it. That's kind of how it all happened. It was bittersweet leaving San Diego after only such a short time. I loved the life that I was building there. I loved my friends there. I love the community. So I definitely want to go back. I just feel so, so very lucky. This is just a dream. It's a dream opportunity and I am so happy to be able to do it with Tucker. Yeah, hopefully that gave a little bit of a background on how we got here, what we're doing here. I have already worked with one Airbnb. I posted all about it on Instagram last weekend. Tucker is going to work in the office four out of five days a week and I'm working from home and on the weekends we're traveling. 
Now I'm gonna go and pull up the questions I got on Instagram. Let us see. Okay, one question was why Costa Rica and I don't think I like fully explained why Costa Rica. For Tucker's program, he could choose and rank between 40-ish different places. He ranked them and Costa Rica was his second or third ranking and that's where they placed him. So that's why Costa Rica. I'm pretty happy about it. How was the move and how did you get all your stuff down there? Are you starting from scratch? The move? The move was great. <laughs> um, it was challenging, but it was good. Luckily, the apartment came fully furnished. We didn't have to bring any furniture or get really any furniture. We did have to bring all of our clothes and stuff. In terms of that, I got rid of so much stuff back in San Diego. I luckily didn't really buy too much stuff in San Diego when I was there last year because the year before that, I did buy a lot of stuff in North Carolina that I couldn't then ship to San Diego. So I kind of learned my lesson. A bed, a dresser, all that stuff, I either sold or my friends were nice enough to use it and take it for the year and are gonna give it back to me when I get back to San Diego, which is so, so nice. I sold some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I really narrowed down my wardrobe. I had a little sale in my living room with all my best friends, bought slash took, I don't know, 70% of my wardrobe. It was a lot of clothes. I'll try and like put a picture in of how much I got rid of. I really stripped down what I had and brought two suitcases and a carrying on to Costa Rica. Mostly clothes and then a couple little things I wanted here. All my camera gear, all my electronics, my journaling supplies, some things like my diffuser and a couple little knickknacks for the apartment to make it feel a little bit more homey. I shoved all that into two suitcases. Unfortunately, they were both extremely overweight, so it was quite expensive, but we made it. I also sold my car. That was the biggest thing I had to do. That was a big feat to do all on my own in California when my family lives in North Carolina. Um, there was a lot of pain points there, but I actually got it done, so that was good, like right before I moved. Yeah, that was how the move went. And it was super, super helpful that the apartment came furnished, so yeah. Did you and your boyfriend move in together? Kind of answered that. Yes, we moved in together, which is a whole nother separate thing on its own. We are living together now, which I've never lived with a boy before. It's been great though, been two weeks. But we were like so excited to do that. It's a baby step, I think, to like moving into our first place together because we didn't have to like get any of the furniture. We didn't have to find an apartment. This is our apartment and it's crazy. It's felt really, really fun to be together, cooking dinner together every night. And we were just saying last night how we just make such a great team. We got home from a trip last night and I was cooking and he was unpacking our stuff. We were just like, oh, we make such a great team. So yeah, it's been good so far. I really love living with him. Let's see, what's another one? Stop, this is my dream. Where are you living in Costa Rica? Yes, okay. We are actually living in San Jose area, so in the city. It's actually quite nice because it gives us like a home base and it's kind of central, so we are easily able to travel to both coasts, into the mountains, and it's nice. We've already felt relief of like coming back after a long weekend and just having casual days here and it's less, it's less pressure be constantly doing something in the suburbs of the city there's lots of walkable coffee shops and restaurants and little boutiques and the apartment complex has a pool and a gym we've enjoyed having the home base of the city to get to be productive during the week and then travel to cool places on the weekends. They do not speak any English here. Like it's rare to find people that speak English. It's more common to find people that speak English in the more touristy destinations of Costa Rica, but here not so much. Tucker has been here for a month and a half and he's picked up on a lot of Spanish. I'm very proud of him and I am working on it. <laughs> We're both getting lessons. That's one of the questions is, do you speak Spanish? Are you learning Spanish? Not quite. I do understand a lot more than I thought I would from just high school. I need to practice what I'm learning in my lessons. Updates to come on how fluent we get in Spanish. We've been using Google Translate a lot. What are you most excited about? I am excited to learn a lot here. We've already taken Spanish lessons. We've taken surf lessons. I'm excited to just be out in nature, to be exploring, zip lining and be in the forest, learn some Spanish and just immerse myself fully as much as I can 
into a new culture and be a sponge. I really want to learn as much as possible. So let's see. What else? What else? What else? Some of these are just such sweet messages. I really do appreciate everybody being so kind. I will say it was, it was scary at first. I live in a country where you don't speak the language to be moving away from all my friends, my family. Now that I've been fully unpacked and started to settle in, it's less scary, but it was a little scary at first. So I really do appreciate all the sweet messages and texts and stuff. One question was just saying that they want to do something similar, but can't work up the courage. Any advice on this? I don't know. I just think the higher the risk, the higher the reward. I mean, I have seen such benefits from taking risks in the last two years. If you want to do something similar, move abroad, I would say just do it. <laughs> no, I mean, if it's the right time and you have resources and the time to do it, I 100% think it's such a good idea. It definitely is scary. It's scary to do, take any risk. Moving to San Diego was tremendously scary because I'd never been that far away from home but it turned out to be the best thing that I've ever done. Challenge is a good thing. Always take the risks, I think. It's easier not to, but it's more fun when you take the risks. I don't know, maybe that's not good advice, but I just say go for it and trust. Trust yourself, trust that you know what's best for yourself. Trust your intuition. That is how I decided to move to San Diego and decided to do this. I kind of had to block out the noise of other people's opinions and just do it. And here we are, and I'm actually living my my best life ever. I feel so good. I feel so happy and content and excited. I'll leave it with that. That is why I'm in Costa Rica, what I'm doing here. Yeah, I just feel so, so excited and grateful for the year to come. I'll try and make lots of videos along the way and show you all as much as possible. Make as much content as I can. I'm also really lucky to have such a supportive partner in all of this because Tucker has been just amazing with being my number one cheerleader. He has been helping me with all my content and not only has he been helping me, but he's been so excited to help me, which is just so awesome that I have that. But yeah, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye.